bad, bad examples here. Never do this. Why would you put this strange knot on? It's too big. It's shit. You don't need that. You need this ball, but it's too big. You need a smaller one because that needs to stop here. If you just do a knot and it gets stuck in this, you cannot drop the spinnaker and you're really fucked. It's really hard to get it out again because it will be jammed in there. So a ball there is good. This is too, this is too big. Well, this you, big what, knot you did was... What do you think about the air solution? We have another proposal. So we have like this. Yes. And, and then we do a to the house load. Yeah. And yeah. spin like curve. And then, and then uh, the sheet. Yes, yeah, I'll show you here what we do. Like yes, this. I think I have a smaller ball. Yeah, but yeah. yeah like also, this. this is very fat, but it, okay, it's better than too tiny. But this one is uh, yeah, no, 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 yeah. No. So mm. very important mm. is how you attach the look so you and the other guy can spin like a pistol. Mm. Mm. Martin, får vi låna din spinnaker lite? Änden? So I see too often too many people trying to do lazy jobs like attaching a halyard with a ball and an end. No, do it traditional way. Do, do a knot and do it properly and don't make it. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. There's no yeah. need to a ball on this one. Exactly. Because the ring goes yes. all the way up there. Yes. So take it off, yeah. I'll show you. <laughs> mm. 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 So. So. When you put the, this on, you have two sheets, the after guy and the spinnaker sheet. And it's very important you put it on in the right order. Give me the sheet. Because this is going down and the sheet is to the back. This must be the lower one. And this must be the other one. Otherwise, it'll twist. And when the pool goes out, you want it to go out all the way and not miss that much because then the pool is away from the forcing. Yeah? So, this goes here. And this sheet, this sheet is tapered. So, you don't have the fat end here and not a fat knot. Because they are yeah? So, pull the pull, pull the pull out. And this goes to the fourth day, and this is too long. Because it should stop here. Well, this system in the end is all the way forward. It makes no sense to have this too long and the pool. Being able to do that way. But that's because you changed the knob. Yes. So you adjust that. <laughs> you adjust that to the proper length. So it goes out and stops at the fourth leg. But what is really, really important? We pull, pull this back a bit. You pull this back, so it stops here. Yes? Okay. Hang on, stop. No, 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 that's too much. It stops there. Okay, good. What is important when the pool? Is. Pull a bit more, pull this time. No, 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 no. This, yeah, the the aftercard, not the sheet. Yes. No, no, no. In the, there's a sheet in the back. Skip up. <laughs> yes, yeah, stop. Okay. That's how it should be. This banana sheet length is super important. This is much too long. So somebody has been adjusting this knot. Nope. Nope. Okay. Because you're in the, the previous 
Okay. This is wrong. This is too long. It can hang down, but it should be so that it just goes there, this knot, and the ball. So, as short as possible, so it just goes down to here, so the crew can go out when the, when the pool is at the fourth day, but not longer. It helps so much when the spinnaker is stable in the drive and it's not there and there, but standing in front of the boat and you follow the spinnaker in the drive and it's not collapsing. And just depends on where this ball is on the back pressure. Not longer. If it's too short and the sheet goes like this, it doesn't work because the crew cannot go out on the trapeze. If I remember cor correctly, uh, the images and stuff you shared last yes. year, you have a I put it back in like there. 95 centimeters from here and measure to there, exactly. Yes. Yeah. 95? So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 So, but you can check easily, check on the ball, pull out the pool and check where your sheet is going. So you wonder why in the back of the fleet people are always capsize in the jibe and never get a jibe done with a flying kite. It's not just because of the boat handling, it's because many things don't work and are not set up correctly. So when we have the sheets exactly the right length, it's so easy, the kite is stable because it's fixed on both sides. It's like it's, <coughs> like it's being cheated here. And we just follow the spinnaker. So check that on your ball that this is really working. How much do you change the height of the boom? The height of the pool is, we don't change much. It normally is, you see, you all more or less have the same attachment point for the pool lift, which is just under the jib. Mm -hmm. We always have it here, only light winds. We drop it to the boom for very light winds, then it's easier to use the spinnaker when you drop the pool because the, the leech gets some tension. Because when it's really light, it's, it's difficult to fly. But normally, we, we never go there. Why not? Because if, it, if you move it too high, yeah. the leech gets open. And it's the same, like on Marlin's boat, if you don't have a downhole here, in just the plastic, the boom can always go up in a gust. And then the spinner gets always opening, and the power's going. Um, another point I can show you, this boat has this elastic around the pool, so it slides to the back and it stops there when you eat it. To keep the, 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 the pool here so it's never there because then it can get stuck outside the jib. What I've done on my boat, I fixed the screw here with a, with a tiny rope and the same in the back. And we have a, we have a little eye here running. I think we have you it. have it, yeah. yeah. Running on that rope. So when the pool is out, I have this elastic on that rope stopping about here. I have a little ball there. So that elastic then is not at the end, it's here. And it has some downforce. So when you unclick, out of the spiral, so it always drops, goes back. And we always spray every day. The back end of the pool and this, so it's slippery, and in the jar it always goes back, back, back. Because sometimes it just gets stuck there. You can make this a little bit, wrap something around, so it stopped there earlier, but it only works with a ball. But I don't like the ball end here because the radius is so small, there's so much friction on the rope. Some have the ball ends here. And it's, it, it's just a so, so small radius. So we have this here, running on a rope. I think we can show it on your ball. Has that the stopper in the end as well? No, it hasn't. Yeah? Okay, so it just runs here to keep the pool. So let me pull this out. So it, keeps, it, it runs here to keep it to the boom, but we have a stopper with a ball here for that ring. So it pulls it down out of the spiral for the jibe to come off. So you see it's here? And it pulls it. Well, this is probably also okay, but maybe there. 
just to trip it down. But I don't like this so much because there's so much friction on this little, little radius there. So when you get new poles now, you do it different. So, yeah. So there's so many, many, many. I like, I love these, I love these fittings because these are simple, not so expensive, small, and they do a really good job for a lot of things which have, don't have to turn. And this is solid, it will never break, it will not be corrosion, no nothing. You can splice to it and it, for shop cords like this, it's, it's nice. Like here on your, on your turning things, like uh, here, and yeah. Like this is super, that's exact, well, you copied this from my book. No. <laughs> So, there's many, re many parts on the boat where you don't have to have the block, actually. Yeah. No, that's, that's always about 95 from the deck to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the old, old, old was the single pool and the old, old, old days it was further up. But if it's too high, the pool is pushing the mass backwards and creates uh, and it's very important, this fitting is not to that side and not to that side. It has to be really looking face forward. So when you put the mask down on the spreader, this has to sit really square on top and not this way or that way. How do you work with the ram up on the wire, wire, wire trick piecing? I have to do it all the time, uh, otherwise the mask no, we, we, we always, we have to keep yeah. We always keep the ram up in the cleat. Yeah. So yes, when we so pull yeah. down and we have to do more, more, more down, then we have to uncleat it. But no, normally with the ram up, we always keep in the cleat. Yeah. So on the ram system here, to be strong enough, we have here, that's why I like this car, because it got, it got the sheets already built in. We have a 2 to 1 here and then a 6 to 1. So down is 12. And up we have a 2 to 1 plus, a, plus uh, a 3 to 1, so up at 6 because you don't need so much force up. Even 4 to 1 up does the job. But down you need some power to push against the boom bay. The boom is pushing forward and then it's be pushing backwards. What you need to check as well is this tube. Sometimes I've seen mast ramps breaking because there's a lot of load in this hole. So check this regularly. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of power there, but this is important. The sheet has to have the right length to help with the driving, and this has to be set really correct. It goes to the force day, and here for the system pulling the pool back. If you have this travel, it's enough. You don't go that far back because you just use it when you're reaching on the wire when you sit in the bow. The crew is grabbing it here and can clean it or hold the sheet. And this is, ah, we, we've gone to about here, oh this is twisted, uh, not too far back because we want it to hold the pool down. This block for the sheet position, actually we have a loop shackle here and a loop shackle there and we can move it. Most times we go here. It, we have been there before in lighter winds, but when you bring the mast back in strong winds, the top where the spinner gear is comes back as well. So from there to the to the sheet, to the clue here, when the, that comes back, the spinner gear gets more open. So we move forward to close the leech to power up the spinner gear a bit. Because you bring the mast so far back, if you if you then sheet from here. The angle is flat. Mm. If you shoot to here, you go down a bit more, so the spinnaker develops more power. Well, we, 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 we went now about one meter from the, from the back. Well, but, the, but the problem is we have two different spinnakers. We have a really powerful for, for light and medium, and we have a, or what, for medium and upper, and we have a, a different one for very light, the big one. It's so big in the top, a light wind you cannot fly. The, the head is so big, it's, it's wider, so a light wind it does not open, it does not fly. 
So, um, so when do you use this? Is it medium conditions typically? But normally you always have to have the same spinner gun. Yeah. But uh, if it's really windy, it's 20 plus knots, yeah. you go for the slightly smaller or medium No, size? no, we, we go Maximum. for the most. <laughs> yes. Okay. It, it's just so difficult to use that one in light wind. Because it's not. It does not. But so I'm, I'm working with Paul Schmoller at the moment to find a, to, to, to do a spinner gun in, in between a compromise. Yeah, but I mean, when it's really windy, don't you want to go for a smaller say? Not depends because... on the course. If you only sail up and down, you want maximum power. Yeah. If you sail a world to the triangle, it's difficult. But the first one is a run, and the first run is more important than the triangle. Yeah. So if I have the choice, I go for powerful spinnaker. But still, if, if you look at high speed sailing like yeah. uh, Moths, yeah. America's Cup, and those foiling classes, yeah. they go like 30, 40 knots, yeah. and. Uh, the finals, they, they know like 30 knots, three uh -huh. man worse, top speed, I guess. No, no, 20 is super fast. If you reach 20 and you don't capsize, I read somewhere that they, no, they no. measured 30 knots. No, no, no there wasn't no. the rib. I think that they put the GPS in the rib by accident. So yeah, yeah, no way. Okay. Right. If you do 20, you're really fast. But, but at some, some my point is, <laughs> forget about it. So the spin like there will never be perfect for all conditions. Yeah, but I mean, if you say this like a 49 and go really fast, then it's not necessarily true that the bigger sail no. is faster. No, exactly. So, but you have my question is, is it a, a threshold point where, where you want to go smaller? No. 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 Maximum <laughs> When you come to that point, then we can't see the racing. All right. Just a question. All you want is you want to get bigger. <laughs> Fat is fast. Fat is fast. <laughs> okay. so, uh, Check this, this is so it helps so much for driving because the spinnaker is not collapsing, it's super easy to drive when the spinnaker is flying.